hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video can you tell i'm like so excited i'm ready to just get into it but we need an intro we need an intro for every video today we're going to be reviewing the new ColourPop and no filter foundation i'm so excited i feel like we've been waiting for this day forever and ever and ever and it's finally here ColourPop has now added a no filter foundation to the family and we're gonna be reviewing it, trying it out, seeing how it wears throughout the day. I also have the loose powders and the pressed powder to wear and try out for you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to join the family. And with that being said, if you wanna see what I think about these babies, then let's go ahead and get started. I already did my skincare routine, so the only thing that I'm missing is my primer, and then we can go in with the makeup products. But right in front of me, I have the No Filter Foundation by ColourPop. They sent over this P so over here i have the ColourPop no filter foundation pr package they sent all of the shades so there's 42 shades in total and i'm so happy with the shade selection i'm happy that they included cool tones warm tones neutral tones just a lot of different shades in this collection so i'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find a foundation for yourself and by the way the price of this foundation is only 12 dollars. so the claims for this foundation is that it's full coverage it has a soft matte finish and it's a long lasting so we're gonna put that to the test today so I'm gonna do a close-up of the packaging so you guys can see what it looks like but I really like it you are getting 0.85 fluid ounce for $12 I'm gonna go in with my makeup forever step one smoothing primer and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the center of my face I do have oily skin if you're new to my channel I'll just quickly go over my skin type I have oily acne prone skin so I have to make sure I prime my face because if I don't prime my face, you guys, I will get oily. I'm going in with medium 100 and I'm just going to apply one pump to the back of my hand. And this is what one pump looks like. So it's pretty liquidy. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a few dots to the sides of my face. And then I'll do one side with my beauty blender and then I'll do the other side with my brush. And we shall see. I'm just gonna start blending it out. Well, it's covering up. You guys saw all of my scars. It feels really lightweight. Like, honestly, it doesn't even feel like I'm applying anything to my skin right now, which is a good thing. I do feel like I need a second layer because you can still see a little bit of my scarring on this side of my face. I'm going to go in and apply a second layer and see what that looks like. Okay, you guys, so this is what a second layer looks like on the right side of my face. As you can tell, everything is completely covered. So I like that it has a buildable coverage. So if you'd need that extra coverage, you can definitely get that with this foundation without it feeling heavy. It feels very airy and lightweight on the skin. Um, it hasn't fully set though. Can you see it still has a little bit of like dewiness on this side of my face? So I wanna see how long it takes for it to set. It did transfer a little bit to the back of my fingers, just very minimal though, nothing intense. Um, but for the most part, I really like how it looks and feels. So I'm gonna do the left side of my face with a brush because I know some people prefer the brush. And even myself, I sometimes go in with a brush or a beauty blender. And then I feel like sometimes some foundations perform differently with different tools. So let's go ahead and do the left side of my face. As you can tell, this side has a lot of scarring as well, but you guys, Look at that coverage though. I'm using my Sigma F80 brush and I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Oh, whoa, whoa. It definitely has more coverage with the brush. Do you see that? <gasps> mm, okay, I definitely like it better with a brush and you don't need to go in with as much product if you're using a brush because, ooh, <laughs> it definitely covers up a lot better with, um. A flat brush so with the foundation and the brush it covered everything so nicely very even full coverage I don't even have to go in with a second layer because one layer covered up everything so nicely and me personally I love how the left side looks I don't need to apply any more product and then on the right side of my face I use the beauty blender and because my beauty blender is wet it did soak in a little bit more of the product so it did not go in as full coverage as this side of my face did so personally I 
I will go in with a brush if I'm using this foundation, but it's all like personal preference. Let's go in with concealer. I am going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I'm using the shade light 20 it literally just melted away and that's one of the things that i love about this concealer is that you don't need a lot of it because it covers up everything really nicely and it blends so effortless under the eyes so still one of my favorites i'm just gonna go in and do the same thing on the left side so let's move on to the powders. So ColourPop is also releasing a translucent powder and a pressed powder to go with the foundation and the concealer. So this is the no filter setting powder plus sheer pressed powder. The translucent powder comes in three different shades and then the pressed powder comes in six different shades. They both retail for $9 each. So the setting powder is a velvety soft translucent powder, creates a soft focus matte finish that does increase or settle into fine lines no cakey finish just that no filter look that lasts all day so i am going to be using the shade translucent because i feel like bandana would be a little bit too warm for my under eye so let's go ahead and try this baby out i'm just going in with this hourglass brush that i really like to set my under eye i'm going to tap off the excess and just go in and set my under eye with this I got foundation lips right now, so I'm just gonna clean that off because they're looking a little bit crazy right now. So this is what the powder looks like under my eyes. What do you guys think? I actually like it. It's really fine and light and it blended really well and it set the under eyes. So that's what I wanted it to do. So for the sheer pressed powder, I'm gonna use medium dark and I'm only going to apply it to the right side of my face because I wanna see if it actually works throughout the day. So you can use this as a blotting powder throughout the day. Just carry it with you in your purse and uh, we shall see if it actually works. I'm only going in with a little bit because I honestly don't feel like I need a lot of this product. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I will be right back and we're going to do like a little overview of the products that we use on our face today. Done. So we're completely done with the hair, the makeup, the outfit. I'm going to go take some OOTDs now and go about my day. I actually haven't had anything to eat today. Just had coffee and it is 1.51 p.m. right now. So I need to go get some food. But I actually really like how the makeup looks, the hair, everything and the foundation you guys i am loving first impression it looks bomb i did have to go in and apply a little bit more of the powder under my eyes because i feel like it did start to separate after a few minutes so that's one thing that i want you to keep in mind one thing i noticed as i was blending the powders on my face is that everything blended so nice and smooth and easy and i don't have any dry patches on the face another thing i want to tell you guys is that this has more of a natural softer matte finish which i really like because it's easy for you to build up your powders or your any products that you want to put on the face. Overall, I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. Even wearing two layers on the right side of my face, it doesn't feel heavy or cakey at all. I personally did like how the brush applied it better than the Beauty Blender because I feel like the Beauty Blender soaked in the product and it didn't give me that coverage that I was looking for. So personally, the brush works so much better for me. I'm looking at the monitor and it looks really good on camera and in person. I want to do a flashback test because we need to know if the foundation has flashback <clears throat> no no flashback it actually looks really good Ooh, wow it photographs well i'm gonna include a picture here so you guys can see a little bit better so it passed the flashback test so that's a thumbs up i'm really happy so far i want to wear it for the rest of the day and then i'll check in with you guys and give you an update on how the foundation wears on my oily skin and uh that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all in a little bit I think we got it. I think we got it. So it is currently 7.29 p.m. So I've been wearing this foundation for a little over six hours. And this is what it looks like right here. I don't feel oily at all, but I do feel like the foundation is separating on the sides of my nose. You can see my smile lines and these two things are, oh, these two things are here. They're about to attack you. They are, they're peeking through the foundation, which... I mean, it's normal for a, a people to do that. So I wanna go ahead and blot a little bit on the center of my face. I'm going to use the medium dark sheer pressed powder that I initially used on the right side of my face. By the way, it didn't really make a difference because I still feel like both sides look the same even though I did use the sheer pressed powder on the right side of my face. So let's go ahead and use the powder and see if it makes a difference. 
I don't look as shiny anymore. I feel like the pressed powder did help. So it's nice to have that like in your purse or just carry it around with you so you can do that if you do have like oily skin like I do. So overall, I do like the foundation. It has been holding up really well. I would recommend it for $12. I think you're getting a really good deal. I'm really hoping that they can come out with like different formulas to cater to different skin types. So I think that would be amazing. I'm pretty sure they're already working on it. By the way, the translucent loose setting powder that I use under my eyes, not my favorite formula. It did start to separate under the eyes. And I just feel like overall it did not last as long as I was hoping for it to last. So I'm going to have to pass on the powder, but the foundation is one thing that I would recommend out of everything that I tried today. And I try to include swatches to everything. It took me forever to like swatch everything too because I wasn't sure of how to swatch it because it's my first time swatching 42 foundations. But the um, little packaging that ColourPop included was so helpful. So I did swatch everything. I'm also going to include it on my blog. So if you guys want direct photos, you don't want to watch this video. If you did watch the video, then you already <laughs> it to the end but um yeah i'll include more details on my blog it's just diana c saldana so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching sorry for the echo i am in my bathroom right now and uh, <laughs> i figured this was the best place to try this before i you know remove all this makeup but i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe join the family and i will see you all in the next one very soon bye